Hi, Hello. Bella. <laughs> Hi, Billy. Thanks, Thanks for coming shirt. on, you guys. Oh, yeah. Look at her shirt. Hey. Oh, I got my brony. Oh, oh, that's great. Oh. We, were, we were a little late because I was brushing my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, the world the world needs to know. Like you, you actually are a brony. You actually love this show. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're like two peas in a pod, me and Billy. No, no, no. Greg knows nothing about this show. Just so you know, <laughs> um, Bella. Greg plays Beast Boy on a show with me, the Teen Titans show. I keep telling you to watch. He doesn't. He doesn't I, know, I know everything. No, he knows tail. nothing turn, about the show. He knows nothing. I turn about into the ponies on, on Teen Titans Go. Yo, I could turn into a pony, yo. <laughs> don't listen to him, Bella. Don't listen to him. Okay, so Bella, do you recognize everyone that's on the Zoom right now? Um, I recognize a couple of people. <laughs> Who do you see? Uh, so you're Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy, right? <laughs> uh, that's that's right. me. And <laughs> you're Applejack and Rainbow Dash. Okay. That's right. <laughs> Hi, Bella. Spike. No. Yeah, that's me. I'm for Spike. I kind of gave it away, but we're in the purple, so made it easy for you. <laughs> yes, Spike. <laughs> do you know who I am? Uh, wait, are you oh. Celestia? Oh, you're very right. <laughs> it's wow. so nice wow. to finally meet you, Bella. <laughs> I, I love knew that too. you too. Do you like cake? I like cakes, but I don't like bananas. <laughs> mm. <laughs> now we have it I'm secret. The secret is it? <laughs> <laughs> Dear Princess Celestia, I cannot believe today we got to say hi to Bella. Spike, <laughs> what is Bella's cutie mark going to be? Uh, I don't know, but um, maybe she can tell us a couple of things she'd like to have for a cutie mark. I know she's a great singer. Maybe she has a guitar on her booty. <laughs> oh, yeah. That'd be awesome. Oh, I'm a writer, which I'm actually going to talk about here. Right. <gasps> a writer? So I was thinking maybe a book and quill. <gasps> oh, a book yeah. and a quill. That's a great yeah. cutie mark. Bella, do you know who Peter plays on the show? Give her a one word hint, Peter. I yep. will. <clears throat> yep. Big Mac. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I also play, I also play uh, Dr. Hooves and I also play Goldie Delicious. Goldie Delicious was partly inspired by a part that your dad played a lot really? of years ago. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. She's a combination of one of Tabitha's characters, uh, Granny Smith, Who's just an old lady character like this? And then I just got kind of combined it with that, with a little bit of a mm -hmm, mm -hmm, at the end, which oh, came from you. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you for Aww. that because you have uh, you've inspired me to to put something on this show that you oh, like, which great. is kind of an amazing full circle for me. Thank you, Billy. Mm -hmm. Billy, I'd love it if you and Bella. Um, I I I was just telling the group how we met at a con and and um. And Regina came up and said, would you meet Billy and Bella? They love the show so much. I was like, really? I love, oh my God, I love Billy. I'd love to meet them. And you guys really do. And I was telling the group that, Billy, you know more about this show than any of us. So um, I just thought it'd be fun if the two of you took a moment to tell us what the show has meant to you and and how it brings you guys together and just some fun memories. Anything you guys want to talk about the show? We can tell you the way it started. Uh, when Bella was really little, she used to read the books, but the original books, the ones that had Minty and all that, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, so she would read those when she was little. Well, once that was over, we didn't realize there was a new version that was more uh, sophisticated and for older kids and all that kind of stuff. And then about the Equestria Girls, we didn't know all that yet. Yeah. And then so when here's I, what happened. So then when I was 11, we, when I was 11 years old, we were, we, uh, we were talking about things I liked as a little kid, so we were talking about my old pony, and so we, and so uh, I think Dad, I think Daddy Billy here, I think he, <laughs> brought, up, I think he brought up the subject of, of of digging up the books of my old pony. So we're looking all everywhere for them, but we couldn't find them. So we decided maybe we could I had to look at the TV to see if one of the old my old pony cartoons was on. So we put it on. We found my old pony cartoon, but it was a new one, and the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> Magical. I love that story so much. And and you just started watching together all the time? All the time. We, we watched, uh, I mean, every day. It became a thing for years. And we watched it all the way through. And then when uh, the Equestria Girls came along, we watched those two. We watched the Equestria Girl movies. And uh, we would watch how many a day? Like three or something like that? Or uh, it really depends. Yeah. And 
and we had so much fun with it because it was really a huge bond experience for us and yeah. and we and he had a bunch of inside jokes related to it i played games and and, uh, and they even wrote stories about my little pony it helped me develop my writing skills a lot that's rad wow yeah. I, I, love that. I, I love that so much and you know we've all experienced um kids that get bullied for liking the show we've all been contacted by family members needing help that kids have been really badly hurt and some parents are not supportive and billy it's just so beautiful how much you've supported bella um and not just like allowed her like uh celebrated it and been with her along this journey it's just you're such a good dad we're really so grateful to have parents like you that are, are there and enjoying this experience with their kids so thank you for loving us yeah, just let them try to bully us <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.